Hi everyone, this is Jet, and today's tutorial we're going to learn how to make a small tote bag that displays a comic. I thought this is perfect for convention season if you need a small bag to carry around your stuff and um, you can show off, you know, one from your comic collection. And um, yeah, this is a really simple tutorial. The tote bag is very basic. It's not lined with any cardboard or anything. All that you'll need is duct tape, scissors, knife, cutting board, and a tiny bit of Velcro. Uh, oh, and of course you'll need a comic book sleeve and a comic. And this is resealable so that you can take the comic out and exchange it for another one. All right, let's get started. All right, the specs for this bag are gonna be seven inches by 11 inches, and then two inches around. It's gonna be a pretty small tote bag just to carry necessities. So start by making two sheets of duct tape that are uh, seven inches by 11 inches, and you'll also need two pieces that are two inches by 11 inches, and one piece that is two inches by seven inches. So let's get to making those pieces. Now we have two that are um, 11 inches tall and two and a half inches wide. These are going to be the side pieces. One that is seven inches long and two and a half inches wide. That's going to be the bottom. And two that are 11 inches by seven inches. And these are going to be the front and back. Now let's attach our pieces together to make a bag. Start with one big piece and attach the sides first. So take a strip of duct tape that is 11 inches long and slice that in half.
Now just line up. Line up the two pieces like that. And then take your piece of duct tape and lay them between each other. And there you have one side. Now do the other side. For this you're going to need a 7 inch strip of duct tape. Go ahead and use the whole strip. You don't need to um, cut this one in half. It's always good to um, put extra support on your bottom piece. And there you have it. Now we're going to attach the bottom sides. So cut two pieces of duct tape that are two and a half inches wide. And again for this we're going to use the full two inches of duct tape. And start by attaching that to the bottom. Fold this up and then sort of stand your stand your bag up and then fold the side in and then just let the tape go. Now we're going to do the same for this side. Um, now we're going to attach the back piece. First you might want to trim any edges that aren't lined up right. Now that all your edges are even, you can go ahead and add in the last piece. Just by doing the same thing you did last time, um, cutting one strip of 11 inches and then slicing that in half so that they're each one inch thick and then you're going to have a piece that is seven inches long. Okay, this is what you'll need. You'll want to start with the bottom. Start by placing this wide strip of duct tape onto your already partially assembled bag like this. See, so that this is hanging over. Now lift that up and attach this piece so that it's directly aligned with the bottom. Okay, now you should have something like this. Now you'll want to do the sides. Start by attaching the sides to the main piece and then you'll place this on top. Okay, now you should have a bag. Before we go to the next step, trim up any edges if they're uneven.
Now let's place the comic book sleeve on top of our bag and make sure that the opening is at the top of the bag. And let's start off by lining the sides. So get an 11 inch strip of duct tape and slice that in half so that they're each an inch wide. See that? Now take your bag and place it along the top on top of the um, comic book sleeve very carefully like that and now you'll want to do the other side right away so that the comic book is laid down So it should look like that. And um, now we're going to do the top edges. So get a strip of duct tape that is 7 inches long and slice that in half. Okay, so when lining the top, we have to do this very carefully. You want to put it over the inside of the magazine or I'm sorry, the um, comic book sleeve. So you'll have to lift up the edge like that and then insert the strip of duct tape over the top of the that piece of plastic. So when you have that laid down, Fold it over to seal it to the bag. Okay, and now it should be like that. Now take the other half and seal the bag. Okay, now let's line the bottom. For that, Get a strip of duct tape that is a little more than seven inches long. Let's go with um, eight inches. So one inch longer than the width of your bag. Just like that. And for this, just place it on the bottom like that. And you'll have a little bit hanging over on each side. So make a cut right where the very corner is until you reach the bag. And we're going to fold the sides over to reinforce the bottom. Like that. And now we're going to do that on the other side as well. Okay, now flip it over and do it on this side. Now let's line the bottom sides by getting an, a um, three inch strip of duct tape and slicing that in half so that they're each one inch wide. And we're gonna place them just like we did with the last pieces. And now let's line the back sides. So do it just like how you line the front, only without having to worry about the comic sleeve. Just get um, uh, 11 and a half inch strips of duct tape.
Remember when placing these um, strips that are extra long, always start at the top so that any overlay is going to be at the bottom. Okay, now all that's left to line is the top sides. So for that, you'll just need a two and a half inch strip of duct tape. Pretty simple. Ta-da, and your bag is mostly done. So this is what your bag's going to look like with the comic in. Now, it's pretty hard to get that comic to fall out, but just to make it extra secure, we're going to attach a flap from the outside of this plastic that goes inside the bag and Velcros. You'll just need a tiny, tiny little strip of Velcro like that. So get a strip of duct tape that is only just over an inch wide. You just need it to be as wide as your Velcro. So I'm going to make mine just a little over an inch. So flip that Velcro up, or I'm sorry, flip the duct tape upside down like that. And you're going to fold over this piece of duct tape to here so that you have a half an inch of sticky still left. Just like that. Now go ahead and attach your Velcro to the very edge of that. Just like that. On your bag, you're going to want to find the very center of it. So I just, I suggest laying it down on your mat. And this is going to go on top of the plastic. Just like that. And now fold it over and check on the inside, line it up, and then place the other half of Velcro right where it will meet. My trick for this is I get my other piece of Velcro, take the side or take the backing off, and I lay it straight on top, straight on top of that. So it's like that, and then fold the piece over, and where it sticks is where it's meant to go. So your bag will look kind of like that, and you can fold it over, and your comic book, no way it's going to fall out now. See? So that's pretty much your bag. Now we're just going to add straps to it. If you watched my messenger bag video, you'll know that I am doing a different... I'm doing a different technique for the straps. For these, we're just going to um, tape the straps right into the inside. And my straps aren't going to be very long. This is just supposed to be a um, bag that you carry. So I'm just going to make my straps um, a foot and a half. And you'll want... Um, sticky side on both sides of your strap, both facing the same way. I'll show you how that goes. So I'm going to make my strap 14 inches long. For that, I'm going to make one strip of duct tape 
that is, um, let's say 20 inches. That'll leave uh, three inches of sticky side on both sides of the strap. Now take this and flip it over, just like that. Now the next strip you're going to want to be shorter than this. Uh, mine's going to be 6 inches shorter, which will be 14 inches. And lay it down on top of this piece to where there's about an equal amount of sticky side on both ends. And you'll want to leave um, about a half inch. Just like that. Here we go. Now take a box cutter and slice where um, this strip starts. Slice like that. Now put that piece up and fold it over. So it should look like that. Now flip it over and do the same on the other side. Ta-da! Now you're going to attach it to your bag. And conveniently you have the duct tape already built in to do it. Take your bag. Like that. And your tape. And place it to where the strap just starts at the top. Like that. Flip it on the other side and do the same. Now just to secure the strap really good to the bag, we want a little strip of duct tape right here and also right here. So cut a strip that is this wide and slice it in half to where it's one inch. See like that? And place it right there. So that's the end. Now you have your own tote bag to tote around your stuff and your comics. Okay, um, let me know in the comments if you made the bag and what you think of the tutorial and maybe what conventions you're going to this summer and how you're using your tote bag. And um, if you'd like to buy one of these from me, you can go onto my Etsy page or request one. I can make it in any color, not just classic duct tape gray. Um, I just think it looks cool in that color because everyone knows what you're carrying when you have the classic duct tape gray, am I right? All right, so um, I hope you like the tutorial.